Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. All Things Middle Earth here with a video talking about the changes that we're getting to healing for healing commanders. Some of it makes sense to me, some of it doesn't. I just want to dive in with you guys so you can best decide which commanders to invest in, but some really huge news about respect refund, specifically for commanders that are being adjusted right now. So if you've invested in commanders who are being nerfed, Brett not, NetEase has actually got your back this time, which is, again, I'm happy about it, but I'm kind of surprised. So let's jump in and start looking at all the updates coming tonight in the update patch. All right, as always, this post will be linked down below. So if you go to the description, you can find this post and read through it yourself if you want. And also in the description is the top up link that supports the channel. It's actually cheaper to use than a lot of other methods because you don't pay Apple tax or if you're in different countries, you don't pay different taxes. So long story short, check out the link down below when you're making in-game purchases. At the very least, it's gonna be the same cost for you and it supports the channel. And there's a very good chance it'll save you some money as well, which that's a good thing, right? So check that out, check both these out. But Starting out, we have things we already knew about. I'm not gonna spend time on like the brand new UI. We've already talked about that in past videos. So I'll link some videos from the top right if you haven't been keeping up with the visual changes or the marching rules or the new you know units or whatever it is. That's all gonna be at the top right if you wanna see it. But we have the brand new UI, which is gonna be implemented. We have the new Battlefield Evolutions, which is gonna be live in Kings of Men and Season 1, which we've already talked about as well. I'm actually getting ready to go into the first Battlefield Evolutions season. So. If you're not subscribed and you want to see what the new game is probably going to look like for everyone at some point check out some live streams or whatever it is because we'll be playing this for two months before a lot of people get access to it so battlefield evolution that is coming to kings of minutes season one uh again we have the authentic marching pass land occupation road construction special armies all that we've, we've talked about so i'm not going to spend time on it and then strategy mode which we have talked about as well you can zoom out over 20 times again that's i'm going i'm skipping through it because we talked about it and i want to waste anybody's time so that is that those things are coming to the game uh this one says there's a new ring ability called invigoration this one is it sounds really cool to me we'll see how it plays out as always added the new ring ability invigoration which restores commander stamina by consuming ring ability points so you can use your ability points to get more stamina which could be huge for certain players depending on your play style and how you do things if you work a busy job and you get on and you, you only can play for a few hours, but you want to play pretty heavily, you can use your ability points to do more of that, which makes a lot of sense to me. It does say that recovering a commander's stamina with the invigoration skill or uh, the stamina pots, it'll increase the commander's mental fatigue. So if you use a stamina potion or you use the ability, you get mental fatigue. And when the mental fatigue is full, the commander will be temporarily unable to uh, recover invigoration with either of those options. So. I don't know how much the ring ability is going to um, fatigue the commanders or if it's just like a one-time thing or if the if the stamina potions are just going to, you know, completely fill it. But bottom line, another way to get stamina that doesn't cost money seems like a big win to me for those, especially if you're busy, you get on, you feel like, what do I do with my buddy points? I'm kind of wasting them. Like, you know, we'll see. But I think that's a very good thing that's not related to like the big parts of this post, but I feel like that invigoration is is pretty good. So. We then have some feature optimizations. So it says they're deleting the persuasion and morale ring abilities on non role play servers. Uh, they've optimized information display uh, and control for army features. Um, optimized information display for army features. I don't know if this could mean they put a stamina bar in the army screen or not. If it does, I that's like the best thing in this update. But again, I feel like they would just say that. Optimize the commander interface display, adding different backgrounds according to the traits of each commander. Um, Again, I, they're all like gray right now, so I don't know if they mean these are getting backgrounds, but it says it's based off of the traits of each commander. It sounds like they're not gonna have like their own background anymore. It's just, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, adjusted the requirement for the heroic epic task in the advanced training manual, changing the required command level from 45 to 40. This adjustment will not affect obtaining rewards. Optimize the colors of land tiles based on rela uh, relationship of owners and optimize the prompt messages for receiving fellowship help. All right, now we get into the nitty gritty. Like this is the stuff we've been waiting for. Balance adjustments, healing skill adjustments. And I already have an issue with it, so I'm curious what you guys think. I think in, in a few circumstances, it's really good, and I think otherwise it's kind of weird. It says healing effects will be, or sorry, healing effects will be affected by the command stat. Higher the command, the stronger the healing effect. So we're talking about this command stat, which is right here, which currently um, 
reduces and increases the damage dealt by the army. So off the gate, in my mind, commanders that have high base command have really good potential to be very good healers. It's hard to know exactly what it's going to look like. I'm going to do more of a breakdown of like which commanders have high command and have healing skills to see what the potential options are. But that's the first point. But don't don't lose don't lose me there because it, it gets more complicated. So high command equals good healing. Again, someone I feel like King Aragorn, for example, has I think decent base command at 164. I mean Gandalf the White is 167. Uh, I think highest in the game is Sauron. His base command is 180. So 164 is not a bad base command to have for King Aragorn, and he has healing skills, right? So is that going to be good? Not exactly, because it then goes on to say the healing effects of the following skills will be affected by the focus stat. And it lists out a bunch of skills, King of the Dead, Army of the Dead, Gandalf the Grace, the Great, Gradual Kyrgyz, the Scholar of the Occult, Arwen, Radagast, Eowyn, Sharku, Aragorn, the King of, you know, the LSR we were just looking at, Azrakor, Dwalin, Ori, Falcon, Balin, Imrahil, and Denethor, and the Undying. All those commanders and their skills listed those skills will be modified by focus which makes absolutely no sense to me because we've already talked about our discord there's commanders like galadriel for example she has scholar of the occult so if we go here to galadriel now her command is not super high 92 is probably it's, it definitely gets worse it's, it's she's definitely not a command commander so i guess in one way i can see why they're doing this because a commander like galadriel who has two healing skills she does not have very high command so she's not really benefiting that much from this they've made this middle one modified by focus now galadriel does have very high focus probably some of the high ba highest base focus in the game and if you're running a galadriel you're going to be running focus gear on her so to me it stands to reason that you could run a galadriel at r6 for example with her damage tree and a like a hybrid build with one healing skill um but that's your option. Again, there's there's really not a situation where where you would run the R5 because this one will be modified by command, which A, you're not pushing with your gear if you're running her as a, a focus damage dealer. And B, even if you wanted to run her as pure healing, they're modified by different things. So you, you, you're, you would have a weird balance of focus and command. Again, um, since command is a primary stat uh, and focus is secondary, you could do both, but it's kind of odd because if you're running the damage build, you want damage gear, not 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 command gear. So there are options for it, but I think for certain commanders it's better and certain commanders it's worse. Again, Galadriel, I guess at best at best I see her running damage gear for the, with the primary with really heavy focus. So you boost all her focus damage, and then she has a a decent heal. Like I think that gets better. Um, we can look at a few more examples, like Gandalf the Gray, for example. It mentions that the Gray will be modified by focus. I think this works out as well because right now for Gandalf the Grey, the most important thing that he does is white council, which you want focus for. So on my Gandalf the Grey, I'm putting high focus gear. I'm getting his focus as high as possible. He's got decent command, but I think you you want to push the focus. And so now the Grey is going to be modified that and you can use it. Now again, does that make it better than Mithrandir or Wizard for focus damage? I don't know. I guess we'll see what that adds up to, but it goes along, but I don't think it's going to be the case for all of them that it that it makes that sense. But I guess we'll see. Maybe that is the point that it, it makes more sense with what they're doing. Um, again, we need to. I'm going to go through every single one of these, and we'll do another video with the spreadsheet, kind of seeing if it's a, a, a pass or fail. But we'll see. It's just it's interesting. My hope is that all the commanders' skills listed here are commanders who already want to run focus. But I don't think it's going to be the case for everyone. You know, Dwalin, Ori, and Falgan, they're not focused. Like, they want physical damage. They want commander attack. So musician being modified by focus. Again, maybe it's better than command. Maybe they're maybe they're focused at it's I mean, I don't know. Big Dwalin's base focus is eight. This command is 14 at base. So it's not like he's it doesn't really matter either way, but you really aren't gonna be pushing focus onto him or command, so it just makes his skill still unrelevant. So I don't know. I want to hear what you guys think about these. And let me know what, what ideas you're cooking up again. Undying is one I, I can think of that doesn't work. Um, so I have an Undying. Here he is. And you're if you want to run Undying, you want to run his physical damage skills. These two skills right here. And a lot of people run Undead Commander with it, with the Evade. This is good. So second win being modified by focus. It's just not something he's really doing. 
Now, is there some kind of a build where you just run focus here on him and run the heal with his undead support as a full support? I don't know. We'll have to see. But to me, I'm running physical damage gear on him, attack gear on him, nothing with focus. So this being modified by focus doesn't matter. But in the same vein, it being modified by command doesn't matter to me either. So maybe that's the lesser of two evils. But again, very interesting. Overall, the big thing, modified by command stat for everyone. But these skills on these commanders specifically are going to be modified by um, by focus. So it'll be very interesting to see what builds we start cooking up. And I'm already thinking of ideas. So stay tuned because we're going to have some stuff coming out here soon. Um, dude, again, we're going to make this quick. We're going to wrap it up soon because there's one last one last really major thing I want to talk about. Due to the changes in certain healing effects, the following adjustments we made accordingly. Um, we've adjusted the recovery rate on all three of these skills on Gil's Relic, Oglurk's Relic, and Radagast's Relic. All the healing is being increased. So... Um, who is it that had the, uh, I think it's, uh, Barathor. Shout out to Barathor because he had the Gil Relic fully refined. So 15% more modified by command, which Gil has. Gil's Relic may no longer be Dustbin. There's actually a very good chance this puts out decent healing. We will see, and I'll be reaching out to you, Barathor, to check. But that could help. Again, I don't, I will have to check on these guys to see, but it, Gil wants very high command. So there's, it, it, you know, some people who have those crazy high command Gills are going to be pretty happy with his relic actually being helpful now so we'll see uh passive skill adjustments it says added this this is kind of the the, the last thing and the really big thing added follow-up action uh mechanism follow-up damage and follow-up healing effects triggered after receiving or dealing damage will be considered follow-up actions follow-up actions cannot trigger any other skill effect so they're breaking the whole mounted combo that allowed you to just over and over again proc ally on denethor and Imrahil with a load of different commanders, but it allowed you to abuse ally and just get crazy heals. Because if it still worked like that with the new adjustment to healing, I think this healing would be off the freaking charts. I think it would be stupid broken. You could just heal out heal anything. That's because again, you just put command on Denethor and Imrahil, and then you would run the other guys and have them proccing as much as possible. So I think it would break it, which is probably fair. Uh, so that's being adjusted. Um, allies recovery is being increased up to 90%. And then it goes through and it lists all the skills that have that like follow-up effect. Uh, Theodor Neimrahil, Azure Core, Thranduil, Balin, Galadriel's Relic. Um, it's been adjusted slightly. Uh, Arwen. again, I'm not going to go into crazy details, so check this post out if you guys want. But it's just showing which commanders have those type of things that, that are going to fall under the effect of um, a follow-up action and no longer trigger things, you know, with no end. So that is that. Um, the other thing is we've got some commander skill adjustments here. Again, we'll get more in detail on that because we're getting long here. I want to get to the, I want to get to the, the juicy part here. So I'm going to drop down again, just a lot of skill adjustments listed of things not working correctly that are so comment if, if you guys want to talk about that, but here's the big, thing. I want to get to this before we're like 15 minutes in, cause this is honestly the most important thing in the video. So listen, Due to the aforementioned changes, the skill uh, the skills for Denethor, Emerhill, Theoden, Aomer, Azurecore, Gladriel, Arwen, Hirgon will undergo certain changes. To compensate for any inconvenience, we will provide respect conversion vouchers for these commanders. You may consider the following for the commanders. Convert all respect, other than the portion gained from tips, of the commander into a corresponding number of custom gifts. You can redeem these custom gifts for respect items of the same season, phase, and initial rarity. If the conversion process involves a relic, all the items consumed for enhancing slash refining the relic will be refunded and the relic will be returned to an uncrafted state. So yes, if you went all in on someone like Denethor, Emerhill, Theoden, Aomer, honey, I know you went all in, you, you ascended your, your Theoden, the legendary, cutest thing ever, but listen, you can get them all back now. So if you've got any of these guys that you really pumped into or at all, and you don't want to run that anymore, you can refund them, which I think is fantastic. And I have to say, Nettie, is this, this is the kind of stuff that we want to see in the game. I hope you're listening, Nettie. When you change things that affect how commanders work, and it change, you know, it, it change people that invested in it for one reason, that reason has changed, you have to give them an option to to hit the undo button. And I think that's fair. I think it's right. And it, it just overall makes players happy. Can you imagine? And I think this has happened in the past. So like I'm speaking you know, from experience, I feel like in the past things have been changed or nerfed or whatever, and there's not been this option. So if someone like EQ, for example, invested in Theoden and different people in this combination, cause it was, you know, the mounted, whatever, 
and they change it and all of a sudden they're useless. You're just stuck with those. It's just kind of like we're getting a middle finger. Not the case. I'm very happy to say. So honestly, waking up and seeing this, I think this shows more respect to the player base than a lot of things we have seen. Um, what we've spent on things and they're changing. I think it's important to give us give us the option to get rid of those if we want to. So I think this is great. Again, I'll link this down below because there's a lot that we kind of skimmed through. A lot of it's just this skill wasn't working properly or um, you know, the damage wasn't going out. You know, it's, it's, sometimes it's just description changes, whatever it is. So if there are any other major things that jump out that like are game changing, I will post and let you guys know. But for the most part, uh, again, I'll link this down below, but I think it's just slight adjustments to two different commanders. So let me know what you guys think. Again, I think this is crazy good. I, this was a great update to see pop this morning. Healing is going to be more useful. I'm still interested to see the whole command and focus thing. That seems wonky to me. I won't lie. But if most of these commanders are already running focus builds, I think that's great. But I can see some of them don't. But there are a few that would be wanting focus. So they knock the mic there. I think it'll be interesting. So let me know who you're excited to try out. That'll do it for this one. And as always, I'll see you guys in a future video. Uh.